Defensive Player of the Year. I kind of like this at plus 1,200 according to betonline.ag. Last year, Khalil Mack had eight and a half sacks. He forced five fumbles, which was the fourth best mark in the league. In 2018, remember that first game against the Green Bay Packers? I mean, he was an absolute beast out there. Interception returned for a touchdown, sacked Aaron Rodgers. It was one of the greatest defensive performances of all time. He finished with 12 and a half sacks and six forced fumbles, which was the third best mark in the league. And he missed two games and he was hobbled and a few others, right? So he needs to stay healthy, obviously. So last year, eight and a half sacks, Akeem Hicks got hurt, and the Bears defense without Akeem Hicks was just an absolutely different animal. And Akeem Hicks is, is just, I, he's an absolute beast, right? I mean, commanding so much attention in the middle of the Bears defense, great against the run, pressures the quarterback, opens things up for Khalil Mack. And last year, on the other side of the line of scrimmage, you had Leonard Floyd, who could not get to the quarterback. Now you have Robert Quinn. Robert Quinn had 11 and a half sacks in Dallas last year. He pressured the quarterback at a 14% clip, which according to Next Gen Stats was the second best mark in the NFL, standing only behind Zadarius Smith. So now you got Quinn, you got Akeem Hicks healthy in the middle. Khalil Mack will have more space to eat. He will have more space to work. And if he stays healthy, I see him sacking the quarterback about 16 times with maybe nine forced fumbles. Because when he gets to you, you drop that ball. The the dude is an absolute playmaker. So at plus 1200, the return of the Mac, I kind of like it.